you know, I like people doing full scale prototypes. What is the height of this? So that's 34 inches. You don't need the calculator. I got it in my head. Are you impressed? And what we did is we started to research the second floor of the library and how people work on the second floor in the library. And I wanted to create a context for them to absorb as much information as often as possible to extrapolate insights from it. Well, again, when you bring in that vinyl in here, you're going to wrap it up around the edge. That's going to give you a nice radius and soften yeah. that up a lot around, wrap right. it around, and then bring them together. Exactly. I do kind of like the texture in it. I think yeah. it's sophisticated. So, so I mean, the is there a design opportunity to bring another shape to it? Like, I mean, you have yeah. this shape. Yeah, right. So this yeah. is a part of a circle, so maybe there's possibility to bring well, half I mean, rounds and circles. Then what you want to do is get a thin piece of maybe another piece of eighth inch. So you put contact cement and your vinyl on there in here, and then you glue them together. So let, let me ask you this, why is this flat? Why doesn't this bow slightly? Because that material you're talking about, an uh, eighth inch ply with laminate, you could bend that right around yeah, and glue right. that right on there. And then all of a sudden, this type of language is carried throughout, so it looks, looks less box-like. The reason why it would be valuable to you is that it would reduce a little mess, and it would visually communicate something that's kind of mobile in some way. Give them guidance that relates specifically to their vision, but how to help them improve the design, but also position them well so when they actually manufacture it at full scale, it's something that's doable within the time and tools that we have. What I teach them is how to be creative problem solvers. And then within that, they're designing solutions to working in those environments. So, is that the base? Aesthetically, you know, it's dynamic when you see it like that and everything. Be having that crisscross trestle type base. I guess my point of view is you're applying a lot of complexity into something that isn't integrated directly into the primary performance of the piece. So you one sided would have those two. Right. Uh huh. So then I can't help but to wonder why aren't you just, you know, doing something you know, relatively simple, maybe these could even become legs at this end. Are you excited? You're ready to build?